realize that's a fridge. Hear ye, hear ye, I'm about to reach the next rank in the arena. Yes, I'm finally about to reach silver one. And you may be wondering, why is this video coming out so late? Oh, let me tell you why this video is coming out so late. It's because both the editor and I was feeling lazy, so, um, <laughs> yeah. We decided to upload the video 5 million years later. So now, let's do the final battle needed to move on to the next tier. And of course, over here, it seems like we have found ourselves in opponents with low-level ruins, which is Alex Airblade. Right, yeah, let's go battle against Alex Airblade and destroy her. This battle will be easy. I mean, how badly could we lose? Ah, uh, yes, it seems like I forgot to mention that I am one Doctor Genius, and welcome to my channel. Anyways, let's just start destroying. We will be able to one-tap our opponent over here, meaning our opponent is dead for sure. This will be a short and easy battle, but I uh, I will reach Silver Run quite easily, right? Yeah, let's destroy Luna over here. They're dead. Let's move on to Titus and one of their wizards. Titus will be two-shotted, so not too much to worry about, and we also will be two-shotted. Oh, wait, wait, is seven a lucky number, is it? No, no, I, I don't know, you guys tell me. What's your lucky number? Well, either way, let's cast our spell, and it seems like that Titus is even dead. Now, we only have one opponent remaining, and you guys can see, I chose this battle for a specific reason, and that is to get this battle done really quickly. Let's destroy Titus! Yes! And now that Titus has been destroyed, we can move on to destroying Alan, who will only take two attacks as well. It seems like I really did choose the proper battle in being able to destroy all of our opponents. One more, wait, wait, I think we can sustain one attack from Alan, or they'll have to heal. So if they don't heal, then their wizard dies, and if they do heal, then their wizard still dies, which is good. In all conditions, it's net positive, right? Yeah, they have to heal up or else they're gonna die. And I don't believe they can deal enough damage to my pets because we have triple shield spells on. And you know what? Because cause why not? Let's just cast the supernova. Let's just cast the supernova to celebrate Silver 1. We have finally reached it. And yeah, I basically got nothing useful before Silver 1. So let me just show you guys what's up beyond this point. Destruction has been ranged with an additional 9,000 damage as an overkill onto our opponents. And now that our opponents are dead, let's collect our 15 trophies and move on to Silver 2. 2,509 trophies. Guys, believe it or not, but previously I was at 1,999, but I lost 5 trophies overnight. But you guys can see we finally reached Silver 2. Alright guys, I'm really hyped to open the chest. Let's see what we get. Well, not this chest, but we did get pizza, which is quite nice. Now, right, guys, the moment of truth. The flame has been ignited, and now let's open the chest and see what we get. We got ourselves the slippery penguin. Yes, the slippery penguin. You guys got yourself this penguin from unlocking the chest. We got ten water balloons and three healing items. You know this will be really helpful, and we have unlocked all fields to our silver rewards. The only thing which you have left is the gold here to complete. So yeah. That is quite nice, we have finally reached this tier, and now let's check out our Slippery Penguin really quickly. Boom, buddies, boom, let's head down over here, Slippery Penguin. This penguin knows how to have fun. It will slip and slide on its stomach beside you, leaving a cool trail of snowflakes behind. Ooh, ooh, ooh I really want to see what this looks like. Whoa, okay, this is really doesn't stand out too well against the background of this area. So let's see if we can hit the bonfire spire. I think then we'll be able to see it much better, right? Yeah, let's head over here. Boom, boom, boom. What? Hold up, did I accidentally just remove a friend? <laughs> yeah, let's just walk across and you guys can see this penguin looks pretty cool. It seems like they're crawling. It seems like they lay on their stomach and are crawling. But either way, it looks pretty cool. Penguin looks super cute and... You know, if you guys ask me, this is actually a pretty decent reward. And let's check our items. Now, it does seem like I did not get any more of these magical fireworks, which I really love, which is unfortunate. But we did get water balloons, and let's cool off our penguin by throwing some at it. And you guys can see this celebrates our entrance in the Silver One League. And now we shall get into gold by the next two days. So yeah, guys, make sure to look out for a gold video coming up soon, and yeah. Alright guys, so before we end off this video, I believe it is time that we see all of the prizes which you've earned from the arena so far. Right, so in terms of hats, we've actually collected no hats, so let's move on from here. Let's go to outfits. From outfits, we have still earned zero outfits, so let's move on to wands. Now for wands, I do believe we got absolutely nothing as well. Let's move on. Huh. Alright, we also got absolutely nothing for boots. Let's go to buddies. Right, and from buddies over here, you guys can see that approximately on this page, 
Four out of six buddies are from the arena, meaning two thirds of the buddies on this one page is from the Ami Ar Amina. From the arena, right? We got ourselves the camouflage chameleon, the hedgehog, the rainbow butterfly, and the slippery penguin. And you guys can tell that we got these from completing a fair bit of quests on the board. And I do believe I have a video which tells you guys where you can get them. But either way, most of these guys are only obtainable from member chests, and you only get like one or two buddies from like moving up a rank. So yeah, these are some of the buddies which we got from over here. Let's see what items did we get. All right. So in terms of items, we got ourselves painted water balloons, we got ourselves the rainbow works, we got ourselves a fruit smoothie, and we got ourselves lots of potions for the arena, right? Yeah, I guess the arena potions helped us unlock 100 arena items already, which is nice. Nice, nice, very nice. Right, and not only that, but we also got ourselves the crane, the crane bow, the rainbow cloud. Basically, it's a mount which you guys can step on, and it's a rainbow, right? Yeah. Now that's not all, let's head back to our house and show you guys the other stuff which we unlocked. Boom, let's ha let's close up everything, and let's head to the side, right? Nothing in the chairs items. Let's head to the desks, nothing in the desks. Let's head into plants, nothing for the plants. Bookshelves, nothing. Windows, no windows. Although the snow window does look pretty good, I will put that up. Items, no items, right? So in the very last thing you guys will see over here, we got ourselves a fair bit of stuff from the Harmony Island Arena, right? Like over here, we got ourselves a coffee machine, we got ourselves a xylophone, and I think we got ourselves a music playing station, yeah. I also think which we got ourselves this thing from over here. I'm pretty sure that this is from the arena and not Harmony Island. But yeah, I'm pretty sure these are the three things which we got from the Harmony Island Arena. Definitely these things because they all have rainbow colors, right? Like, we got a xylophone, I'm pretty sure we got a coffee maker and a uh, fridge. Yeah, wait, that's a fridge? Oh, I just realized that's a fridge. Oh my god, Prodigy's finally added a fridge for our wizards. This is amazing. This means you can actually have a fully functional house. I wonder if they'll add a stove next. Ooh, maybe they will take house designing to the next level. Oh wait, what if someone accidentally turned the stove wrong and set their own wizard house on fire? <gasps> Prodigy should add that. They should like add an entire new house level where you can have a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh floor. And on these floors, you can have them designed, and you guys can design like the houses specifically, like a mini in-game house building simulator where you have to answer questions to unlock areas and stuff. Oh, that would be amazing! Right? Yeah. So mainly, these are like the three items that we got. We got ourselves a fridge of. I think that's a xylophone or is that- wait, what am I saying? This is nowhere near a xylophone, this is a piano! What in the world? <laughs> and a coffee machine. So yeah, these things are mostly all of the things which we've unlocked from the arena. And not only that, but if you guys look at my um, ruins, you guys can see I unlocked a lot more ruins thanks to the arena. So if you guys ask me, that was a quite nice up in that bonus. Like, I earned a lot more ruins than I did normally from the arena. As you guys can see, I am now at 6 health arenas, I am at 6 attack, I am at 2 defense, I am at 11 critical. 11 critical is kinda crazy if you guys ask, I mean like, why do we need 11 of these? But okay. So most of these things over here have now kind of been maxed out. And these low powered ruins, they aren't even needed anymore. We are just using the max power ones at now. As you guys can tell, I'm really happy I managed to reach the silver arena. And yeah, if you guys are as well, hit that subscribe button and give this video a like if you guys haven't already. And comment down below. So I think that's going to be all. I'm going to get back to grinding in the arena.